So the beginning of, of why uh, Growth Academy was, was created is about uh, kind of having realized this big problem of, of um, innovation, entrepreneurship and the lack of kind of structured knowledge. So as an entrepreneur, I love big problems like any other. So my focus was, uh, and this was about a decade ago, when I really started doing more of that mentoring and advising knowledge to others. And I realized that also even through my own journeys, I only had a, a limited perspective. So the main problem definition was really how to scale entrepreneurship and innovation to help produce successful startups in volume. So the key words here is how to scale entrepreneurship and innovation because many of the activities on how um, the support functions work and how mentoring and advisory and even investing works, all of those are not really scalable. So I specifically wanted to focus on the types of things that can help scale. And also the key here is about helping to produce because it's not about, uh, it can't be scalable of trying to build all of the companies or be part of all of the companies yourself. Uh, the only way really is to, to focus on developing the help side of, of um, and scaling more help to be available to produce successful startups. So the process of behind the, the, the material collection, in addition to the experience and so forth, was really to combine these personal learnings, uh, the various paths taken as an entrepreneur, uh, from the past and the current activities to keep it fresh and on alongside that and alongside the mentoring and advisory to really do a deep personal research uh, with the help of the knowledge and experience to try to validate and find as much uh, knowledge online and the different types of um, concepts and models that exist and really also more realistic statistical views and data that would support some of the claims and the perspectives, those that I had uh, to help remove any of the personal biases, but also to, to be very um, strong in evaluating uh, and questioning the, the teachings of others. And doing that enough to really find the patterns and commonalities to, to find the essence and the most key elements and that uh, would also sustain time, that it's not really time bound, that it only worked at a certain period of the, the year or it was associated with specific platform like Facebook's growth or Apple Store coming and, and different things and really focus on, on the, the essence of the innovation entrepreneurship. And basically from here to move to document, start documenting all of these knowledge and structures and then start validating that through, uh, again, in our own company development, through the mentoring and support and investing, doing with others, as well as uh, getting feedback and inputs of all of the different um, coaches and trainers and their experience and feedback and to try to find, like even if seemingly there was something that was contradictory uh, between two different perspectives, to really try to find where does that come from? Is it a development journey phase related issue? Is it a timing phase? Is it a geographical issue? Uh, to really try to find and make sure that the, the, the content, while can never be extremely complete, uh, at least it doesn't have uh, things that are um, totally missing the key points. So the key has really been to, to focus also to make sure that we look at from bottom up, top down, uh, 
side to side and so forth perspectives. Uh, make sure to cover regional differences uh, for global neutrality and uh, understand the historical factors and evolutions that has gone when we talk about startups and innovation entrepreneurship and um, the differences between cultural factors in different countries even for as simple things as how a word entrepreneurship is translated and to how that is associated in different countries, uh, let alone how startups are considered as a, as a much newer term. So from here, uh, the process has been to visualize the top level process, uh, communicating all the key items and trying to fit those in, in, in the, a compact package as possible. So pretty much this is the startup development phases um, uh, key document. And then from here to combine the innovation and organization development processes, as that is one of the key pieces that uh, was seen missing, was that too much of the uh, focus is only about the product or the idea and innovation while at the same time everyone uh, communicates very strongly how important the team is but at the same time there's very little information actually available on team building and even more more or less so about organization development building an organization from you know five people to 50 people to 100 people and so forth and basically uh, focus the universal factors as much as possible, um, break up to logical sub-processes uh, with clear start and, end, start and end points to make it kind of more clear how you pass through different milestones. When have you achieved certain level of progress? When are you ready to move to the next phase of development and so forth? And to connect the relevant key knowledge uh, sources and concepts from elsewhere that has been part of capturing the knowledge in the past and also um, can be referred uh, as key sources that sustain time. So some of, some of the learnings and the key knowledge that we refer to, you can find the, the, the knowledge for more, much more detailed uh, consumption as well. And then to educate about uh, optimal structures, um, the optimal structures is not necessarily the target where you need to get to, but it helps to understand the concept uh, through these models. And, uh, but at the same time, the reality is that the structures are often far from optimal um, because you also need to have uh, flexibility to, to make progress and navigate your way forward, even, even with less optimal structures because the progress is, is, is the key. And basically to provide the reasoning and background data for, for everything that, that we, we have. Um, just some personal side notes to during this process of basically uh, over several years consuming the key knowledge um, uh, from a longer period of time uh, from from online and also following during that time following the timely updates of different things and happenings and developments on, on startup world uh, was a very humbling experience in the sense that uh, regardless of having like serial entrepreneurship experience you realized how much there is knowledge to to um, where your own perspective coming only through one or a few journeys and the information that, that you, you didn't have or you were still missing. And more importantly, the surprising factors was really about how those who have not built the startups, specifically those working in the support functions and even the policy making, making real big uh, decisions on funding instruments and so forth were lacking the, the actual knowledge um, 
of, of uh, what is important for entrepreneurs building their, their ventures and therefore not necessarily having the right type of information available uh, for making the right policy decisions. And this is understandable from the perspective that um, that uh, personal those who are entrepreneurial tend to stay and, and continue doing more entrepreneurship on the private side and and or starting to do the mentoring uh, side or investing side um, whereas on the policy making side um, it's rare to have entrepreneurs there and also when, even when invited to take part uh, it's in reality it's hard to find time and justification to to start significantly contributing to these processes so from these perspectives it's quite understandable but um, so that's the part of why startup commons also is was created to help bridge this knowledge and uh, help bring this type of perspective to all parties um, Another key point to highlight from here is that while startup world is fast moving, it's fast changing, and there's many things happening all the time, you can continuously read new stories about new different tactics and, and, and different things how you can execute. But at the same time, there are a lot of these universal learnings that sustain time and don't, they don't really change that much. And the key reason is that uh, the, the companies are still built with people and with people you have all kinds of uh, challenges when it comes to communication, building understanding and how we evolve as people. And that means people on the customer side, that means people on the team side, that means people developing the product, that means people understanding your product and so forth. Uh, as well as just some um, factual things that come through numbers and progress and time and so forth. So that is also the base that actually helps to create this type of knowledge that, that uh, is focusing on these types of things that uh, sustain time and are more on the, on the basic, uh, basic knowledge level. And from there, with accumulating the basic knowledge, it's more easier to then understand the more advanced knowledge in, and understanding what development phase it belongs to, as well as to what type of function it belongs to. And uh, sometimes when we have done these trainings, we get, uh, we get feedback that this is getting very kind of scientific, that uh, things are not not uh, always as straightforward and that's true but at the same time it's at this it can't be ignored that there are existing structures and patterns that should be taken into into consideration and and best of all to try to utilize those um, um, as structures to help get some sense into the the madness of building companies that it sometimes really is that it seems that all the balls are in the air at the same time and it's very hard to find focus of time um, and, and progress and sometimes even difficult to measure whether any progress is made and so forth. So that while because there's a lot of tools for those, it makes sense to learn to use those tools uh, to the extent that they are helpful. So then it depends on individual entrepreneurs or team members how much they want to lean on to those tools versus uh, uh, just trying it out in the markets uh, because different people have different ways of, 